Alright, what is going on, my lovely people? I don't know if it's kind of like... Uh... I don't know, it took a little bit to find a match. I wasn't able to really join one. It kept telling me, like, this session is full or this session no longer exists. So I finally created my own, and it took a little while for it to, uh... Trigger, finally find us somebody. But anyway, we are playing, we are starting out right now with the, uh, Six Samurai deck. Aww. And, um... We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see if we fight anybody real. Like, my one big worry about this online is that it's kind of just this. <laughs> fighting a homie with a, uh... Fighting a homie with a 60-card deck. Which probably means they're not the greatest around. And no one's ever gonna keep them down. Kind of laggy too, apparently. Good thing that doesn't affect us in card games. But it's still a little laggy. Should I summon Shein? I'm a I'm a summon Shein. It's better for everybody if I summon Shein. Ooh, yo, nailed this. Dude's gonna be like, fucking hell! Quit doing shit! I don't wanna. You can't make me. So I am now actually gonna play these, because now I'm kind of... Vanity's emptiness could be very helpful. I wasn't thinking I was going to get a turn one Shein right there. But now that I have it, I may as well. No. Please tell me that's not all you have. Like, good God, if that's all he has. 60 card decks, yo. 60 card decks, yo. Like, if that's gonna be a mirror force or some shit, I don't care. Will this delay, though? Is he waiting on... He must be... It must be asking him if he wants to play something. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Read cards. Wasted it. Completely irrelevant to us. This is, this is the thing I was worried about, is I'm kind of, like, I feel like there's kind of, I'm either going to get rolled over by certain people, or I'm going to just get, like, utterly annihilated. I mean, I'm sorry, that's what, that's what I mean. I'm either going to get rolled over and annihilated, maybe only rolled over or only annihilated, but I'm either just going to get, like, bopped by people with, like, you know, high-level decks, like, I think, I don't know if you pronounce it Necroz or Necros. Uh, like that, Klee Forts, uh, that kind of stuff, or I am going to end up, like, just getting... Actually, you know what? Let me just activate. Like, I may as well activate Vanity's Emptiness now, right? I don't think there's really any reason not to activate Vanity's Emptiness. I guess that was probably a bad idea now, because I'm just going to, uh... I'm going to hold that kill, like, if he does decide to kill me. He is. That's kind of... okay. That's a poor play. I mean, that's my fault for using Vanity's Emptiness. That was a poor time to use it, obviously. Like, I cannot... I gotta hold that one. That one is all on me. Oops. What am I... What card could I... Oh, right. Breakthrough skill. Breakthrough skill. Gotta always remember that one. We got another one. Alright, so I'm getting kind of shit draws here. Which sucks, which just means this is gonna be delayed. For it's gonna take a little while. For us to actually, like, get anywhere. Especially given that this dude... 
Ooh, if you're gonna build a deck, please don't build a 60 card deck. That's the one universal thing that I've heard everybody that is like even moderately good at this game. Never, ever, ever with a 60 card deck. Just don't fucking do it. Please give me something useful that is not useful. This is really, I got a really good initial start. Terrible everything else ever since then. Like I just gotta hold all of this. Unfortunately, I got you. I got Shein from turn one, that was good. But again, I haven't gotten anything since. Hi Zark. Played him in some player matches. He got an very unfortunate, the first one we played, he got a very unfortunate initial draw. Didn't really get anything and I just kind of ran over him because of that. Good god, what are we waiting on? Took that long to play a card in defense mode, guys. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, thank god, I finally got goddamn something. So I am just going to take Iroh because he keeps playing cards in defense mode. This means if he plays anything in defense mode that like I'm just, you know, I don't know what cards this dude has. I don't know if he has anything that could potentially harm me in terms of flip cards. Iroh bypasses that anyway. So if he just keeps playing cards in defense mode, like I'm just going to walk through him anyway. Oh yeah, that was nothing. So he's trying to do some kind of uh, polymer, not polymerization, but fusion. I don't know if that King of the Swamp card, let me actually read that real quick since it's taking goddamn forever. Fusion. Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, he's trying to get a polymerization. Hilarious part, this dude will cock block polymerization. So even if he does do that, he discards him, he gets polymerization, then he tries to actually do that. I get to stop that completely. I mean, either way, like, I see no way in which he is not dead on the next turn. Because, let's just say he brings up some way to manage to kill this card. I will be able to sacrifice Iroh instead, I'll be able to Regeki him. You are not... Let me just activate this, just in case. Like, just in case he tries to play a Polymerization afterwards. Then I can still prevent that with Shein. Which I would not have been able to prevent with that if I had activated Shein. <laughs> there you go. We f I, I was waiting for it, right? Like, everybody in the world has basically said, like, half their ranked matches end in uh, disconnects like that. Like, this is what... Sh I'm not mad about it at all. Like, I don't care if I end up on the leaderboards. Like, apparently... Let's actually just go check the leaderboards real quick. It's based on the top 1,000, right? So... Apparently it's going to take a while. To oh, that's actually not. I was going to say, apparently it's based on the top 1,000, but there's not actually a lot of wins. Like, it looks like you only need about 20 to manage to get here. Even less than 20. So you need 18 wins to get here. Obviously, you don't get a win, I don't think. Let me... Okay. Oh, yeah, so it has to show you on the leaderboard. I was hoping that that might actually just show me, like... It wouldn't show me a rank, because obviously I don't have enough wins yet. But it would show me how many wins I've gotten. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's what I was worried of. That's kind of one of the things that, you know, I may end up having to kind of hold that in regard to matches. Like, I may just want to record each match individually rather than trying to do, you know, like a 30-minute long video or a 15-minute long video, two matches, etc., etc. Uh, I just got to, because, you know, I'm either going to run it, again, if I get absolutely steamrolled, that's something that I would like to post because, number one, there could be analyzation from you guys of stuff that I may have missed. Like, oh, dude, you had this, and that would have actually countered what he did. And thus, having that, you know, what, blah, 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 whatever. You could give me insight that I might have missed onto why I got steamrolled, potential answers to it, all that kind of shit. Plus, again, you get to see somebody who, you know, may not be high level, but at least they're a higher level than I am. So you get to see some good play. But then, you know, if I'm steamrolling somebody, I'm not very good. My decks are not optimized in any way, shape, or form. I do feel like my six Samurai deck is very strong, but it's definitely not perfect by any means. Um, 
but yeah, so you just gotta, that's what I'm worried about, is playing against people like that, like, sure, you know, seeing the rage quit is probably a good moment, but seeing everything beforehand is just like, who gives a shit, like, that is not something that somebody would want to see, because that dude had no answers for anything, he had nothing effective going on, he had nothing effective being played, he very clearly didn't even bother trying to read Shien, because he's trying to play, uh, I can't even remember what the first card he tried to play against me was, um, but then he tried to play Raigeki, which I have two, two answers to in my deck. You saw I used the trap first just in case, because that is a potential mind game. That is something that a high-level player would be able to, not even necessarily a high-level player, just an intelligent person, would be able to kind of recognize, like, oh, okay, Shien can only counter one magic card or trap card per turn, so let me play this, which is kind of irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. Like, it would kind of suck to lose it. However, I have this waiting in the wings which will devastate him instead, so like it's kind of a sacrifice to lose this card, but if I can get him to get rid of this Shein utilization uh, using his effect, then I can use this to kill it. And, but that's, which is, you know, you saw me kind of try to account for that, where I'm thinking he might have a polymerization where he's going to use that King of the, whatever the hell it was called, King of the Swamp, whatever that card was, which uh, would allow him to discard it from the graveyard and get a polymerization, so that's what I was thinking, right? Like, he might try to use this, force me to use Shein, and then use a polymerization, which may contain a card, may give him a card, a monster, that allows him to kill my Shein that is stronger than him. And, obviously, that was not what happened. We got, we got the unstoppable combo of Raigeki into Rage Quit. <laughs> we got a hold back. Nothing we can do against that. But anyway, so the, I mean, again, that's kind of what I'm worried about and why I think I may just want to be recording individual matches and posting those up. Uh, mainly because if I run into somebody like this, I'm not really convinced that I would want to post the entire match, the entire video, because there's really nothing interesting happening throughout it. Versus, again, if I play somebody that's good, maybe there's some back and forth, that's awesome. Or if I play somebody that just steamrolls me, you know, it's kind of the opposite thing around, that's a potential learning experience. But that right there, that's not a learning experience for anybody, so... That's kind of what I'm worried about in regard to playing this game. But that's irrelevant to now. Thank you for watching the first ranked match. I have, I think that's my second ranked match overall. We have a 50% disconnect percentage against, a uh, disconnect rate against opponents in ranked mode. So we doing fantastic. All right. Thank you for watching. Peace.